My name is Dr. Bruce Graham. I'm a colon rectal surgeon at Shiny Mission Medical Center in Shiny Mission, Kansas. We have today a 35-year-old lady who has biopsy-proven adenocarcinoma of the upper rectum. She has uh, just completed a colonoscopy with biopsies as well as a CAT scan to stage the tumor. Uh, com for completion of the staging process, we will plan on performing a transrectal ultrasound. The ultrasound, the rectal ultrasound is the most, the standard of care regarding staging of rectal cancers. It is far more accurate than CAT scans are in the evaluation of uh, rectal tumors. Uh, the rectal ultrasound is very well tolerated, it's very safe and highly accurate. This patient uh, has a tumor at about 15 centimeters from the anal verge. It's, uh, the upper rectum and um, I can see that there is a small and large lymph nodes in that hypocolic area right there then this is the most we're looking at the most distal part of the uh, the tumor uh, this area is the vagina here so the, the ultrasound gives us a good location as to where this is located anterior or posterior And we can just get to the edge of this. The 15 centimeters is about as far as we can take the rectal ultrasound. But the important thing is that it lets us know if there's any possibility of distal spread. There's some um, smaller lymph nodes. Here's a node here. So it's a little bit concerning regarding metastasis. Highly suspicious also is the tumor incorporates probably 50% of the lumen of the bowel as well as there being an ulcer in the center making it a high risk of having um, metastasis. But we can't quite get a full shot of that tumor because the tumor is so big we can't get beyond it. But we're just seeing the lower edge of it. You can see this tumor right here. That's the lower edge of the tumor here. But we can't, that's the very edge of it. But we can't get quite through it because it's so large. And it's um, at, at 15 centimeters. Starts at about, th there's another lymph node right there that's large and very highly suspicious. So we're, we're thinking that this is most likely a stage three, which would give her a, um, the best choice would be a preoperative radiation and chemotherapy prior to surgery. Studies have been shown that if you do surgery alone with rectal cancer, the local recurrence is approximately 30 to 40 percent. With radi and this is in stage three patients. With radiation and chemotherapy done prior to surgery, the local recurrence is dramatically reduced down to 5%, and it also increases survival. Now, the second reason we do ultra rectal ultrasounds is to evaluate sphincter control problems or fecal incontinence. Um, this gives you it's a good idea of the anatomy. This is your pelvic levator floor wrapping around um, the rectum. The rectum is in the center. This is the internal sphincter, the whitish area. External sphincter is the dark area. And her sphincters are intact. Her pelvic floor looks good. So if when she, this lets us know that if, she, if we do uh, a lo, what's called as a low anterior resection for a cancer, that she would be, uh, have adequate control of her bowel movements after the surgery. There's no sphincter defect. We're coming down, and again, this is a nice sphincter apparatus. White is internal sphincter, black is external sphincter, and it looks really good. They're, they're intact. She has had a history of um, several vaginal deliveries, but there's been no trauma that we can see to the sphincters, and that's a common, common thing we see with uh, occult sphincter damage that comes that gives people symptoms later down the line
Yeah, that's a that's an excellent sphincter mechanism. Um, right there. That's the tumor right there. It's the edge of it. We can't quite get beyond the tumor, but because of its large size and because it's at the maximum where we can get to at 15 centimeters. There's the edge of this tumor right there. Now this is our 3D picture of the rectum. It gives us going to be uh, give us a transverse cut on this. It has to kind of expand and come out toward us. And you can see this tumor right there. <coughs> Vagina right there. So it's posterior. Lymph node right there. Now we're kind of turning the, the rectum on its side here. And we're going in with a tangential. This is the rectal wall here. And this is the lumen. This gives us a side view of the rectum. And this right there is the edge of the tumor right there. And these are lymph nodes out here. The lumen of the bowel right there. We've just completed performing a transrectal ultrasound in this lady uh, who, has had, who has rectal carcinoma. With the information we've obtained from the rectal ultrasound, she is now candidate for radiation therapy as well as chemotherapy, which would improve her local control as well as improve her survival. This is in large part from the information that we've obtained from the rectal ultrasound.